here with the Grand Master, Bozy Ennis. <laughs> What's good, Mr. Bozy? Everything good. How you feel? Good, brother. I'm chilling, man. What you got going on today? Nothing to have my guys working on defense today. You know what I mean? They're going to have them boxing tomorrow, so, you know. Okay. That's the way I do it. Defense, boxing, then working on, you know, different kinds of, you know, things like the rope. I use the rope when they slip and roll under. I mean, all types of stuff I do. Even different days, though, at different times. What's the most important aspect of defense? Footwork, distance, head movement, what? Well, you got a few ways to defense. I like to teach when you catch it with your hands. Yeah, and you got defense when you move, too. Moving, you're not getting hit. But see, a lot of guys that move like that, they don't know how to catch with their hands. So that's why they move like that. That's another way of defense. You know what I mean? That's what they say. But I think what I call defense is somebody shoot a jab, you catch a jab. Mm. Somebody shoot a right hand, you catch the right hand, you catch the left hook. Or you slip, slip, you know what I mean? Or you roll, roll. You know what I mean? That's what I call defense. I mean, you know, other people, you know, they said when you moving around and all that, I, I agree with that too. Stick and move, you know what I mean? You know, that's another form of defense. Do you feel like sometimes fighters take themselves out of position with moving too much? Yeah, and that's what I just said, you know what I mean? When I was in there talking to Greg. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of guys that when they do slip and roll, they go too far out of range. Now they got to reset. That's why I say always stay in range. Have you ever heard me talking in there? When you throw a shot, you roll under, stay in range. Don't go all the way over there, and then you got to reset. I don't, I don't play that kind of way. What, what's the biggest difference between catching and blocking? Uh, that's, that's the same. Catching and blocking the same thing. You catch it, catch it. When, when you throw a shot, you block it anyway. Catching the block is the same thing. But when you catch, does it take something off the shot as opposed to like, you know, like sitting there with a high guard? Oh yeah, when you catch, it, yes. The high guard is, 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 I don't like that high guard when you have it close together like this. Yeah. Because when somebody hits you, you can feel the impact. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, I don't like it like that. I'll do it like this. But a lot of people, just like one of the female in there, she was doing like this. Mm. And I said, don't you feel like the impact? She said, yeah. I said, yeah, do it like this. Just tighten it up and do it like this. You know what I mean? Mm. I say, don't play it like this because you can, you can get knocked out like that. You know what I mean? The high guard is good. But if you're blocking it, if you're blocking it like this, oh, yeah, that's good. But you just got high guard like this. They can come around. They can go up the middle. You know what I mean? I don't call that, I don't call that defense with the high guard. You know what I mean? Uh, um, speaking of your son, Jerron Ennis. Right. He's facing Thomas DeLorme. What's the date on the, what's the, date of the fight? Uh, October 30th. October 30th? Yeah, in Vegas, Las Vegas. Las Vegas? Yeah. Oh, man, okay. Yeah, yeah we've been there before. What's your thoughts on the fight? Well, I think it's, uh, it should be a good fight, you know what I mean? Uh, as, long as, it, as long as it lasts, you know what I mean? Because I know we went out there, for, you know, to make a statement, another statement, you know what I mean? And uh, he was really the only one available that would that have a good name, you know what I mean? They was talking about, uh, Castillo Clayton or some stuff. Yeah. Well, we were supposed to fight him before, but it, it never, you know, he never came around. But see, another thing, nobody knows him. You know what I mean? I want somebody that people know. People mm -hmm. know Delarmy. Delarmy fought uh, uh, Crawford. He fought, man, he done fought what? What's the boy name? He fought, uh... Stanley Onis. He just, oh, yeah, he just fought Stanley Onis. That was a good fight. Yeah. And he, uh... What's the boy name he uh, fought, uh... Jamal, you fought James. Jamal James, yeah. Jamal James. I'm saying he, he, them are the kind of guys you want to fight. Guys that people know, you know what I mean? They're four champions, you know what I mean? You know, I'm not taking away from Conceal's Clayton. I, I don't really know him like that, really. So, you know what I mean? And they, they talk about he want to fight, you know what I mean? We're ducking, ducking. We, we don't duck nobody, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We, we asked for the big guys. We wanted Ugas, we wanted Jamal James, we wanted, uh, uh, What's the other boy name? Uh, Al Ramos. Mm -hmm. We wanted him. We wanted all of, all of guys. That they said not right now. You know what I mean? So we why would we dump the uh, Castillo Clayton, whatever his name is, and, and we asked for the top guys. We'd rather fight the guys that meant that really mean something in this sport. I heard Clayton chose Sergey Lipinitz over y'all. Exactly. Exactly. So how can you call it? How can no, you no, call no, it? That's what somebody somebody saying it's not. Okay. It's not Clayton. You know what I mean? Clayton is to me. He's uh, a, a pretty good fighter, you know what I mean, from what I saw when he fought uh, Sergey Lemonette, 
know what I mean? I, I figured that he should have stopped living there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. well, so why would we go back and fight him and we stop living there? You know what I mean? That's the, I'm looking at bigger and better things. And the only reason why we fight the army again because we were supposed to fight him before. But yeah, he, he got the COVID. COVID. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? We're willing to fight him and whoever. You know, well, you already know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, what does Delorme may bring to the table that can make this a difficult fight? Well, Lom 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 uh, Lom what's his name? Lorme? Whatever. Delorme. Delorme. <laughs> he can uh, he can box and he can fight, man. You know what I mean? You know, you know, like they say, styles make fights. We got to make fights. We might have to make adjustments. All according to you know what he bringing to the table. I see most of his fights. I think he's a uh, very uh, worthy uh, uh, challenger to me. You know what I mean? Like I said, anything can happen in boxing. See, I'm not one of them guys talking about, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. You know what I mean? You only take one punch. You know what I mean? I know Boos is, uh, you know, he can box, he can fight inside, he can do all that. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's like I said, it's only going take, to take one shot. So, you know, you got to be prepared for any style, any any anybody. I don't take nobody like me. You know what I mean? Mm. Nobody like me, man. You know what I mean? He's talking about this big one, big one. Man, you don't know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Just like with uh, Sergey Limnet, what he said. You know what I mean? What he was going to bring to the table, what he was going to do. Mm. You know what I mean? And look what happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't do no talking. We just go ahead and, you know, put our thing down. You know what I mean? Speaking of Sergey Lipinets, uh he put out a tweet that said, you know, that he doesn't think anybody's going to fight uh, Boots yes. anytime soon. Yes. That's what he said. That's respect, though, man. Mm. That's respect. You know what I mean? You heard what uh, uh, Fanon, he was saying about, you know, about uh, Keith Thurman and all that. Tell me he had... He act like he don't know boots, and everybody know boots. I was up on YouTube looking at it the other day. He said, man, I'm ashamed of, uh, uh, of Keith Thurman. I'm gonna say he don't know the Jerron Ennis, and why everybody know Jerron Ennis. You know what I mean? That's what he said, you know what I mean? Like, do you feel like that's this guy's just being disingenuous or just trying to just act like, you know? That, well, when they, that, that's telling you and telling me and everybody else that he don't want no part of boots. All right, my brother. He don't want no part of my, you know what I mean, boots. That's what he's telling me. You know what I mean?